in studio with Tom Gross. Tom, what do you think this means for ISIS? Dozens, hundreds of ISIS uh, members were captive. Dozens of them were high-profile detainees. What's the future now of ISIS amidst this chaos? Even more than that, about 10,000 people are detained, of which about 2,000, sorry, about 10,000 hardened fighters. These are the toughest of the toughest because they survived an American aerial bombardment. They survived uh, four or five years of the Kurds battling them. So they are, these are some of the toughest ISIS fighters or terrorists. At least 2,000 of them are believed to be European or foreign nationals. Will they go back to Europe? Will they try? And well, they'll certainly try. And we know that Erdogan has played a kind of double game with ISIS. Uh, he, he, for example, helped them sell oil, and which enriched the, their caliphate. And I don't think Erdogan's going to be so strict about st preventing them crossing back uh, through Turkey into Europe. So it's a very dangerous situation, particularly for Europe. So Trump has also let down his European allies. There were some concerns yeah. that, this was, uh, that this was what Erdogan wanted. He knew that... This could free ISIS, this could lead to uh, ISIS resurgence, and this was, he was something, uh, it was a byproduct he was more than acceptable with. It's possible. Look, he has sympathy for the Muslim Brotherhood, he has sympathy for Hamas, another terrorist group, and so on. So it is quite possible he's playing a very tricky game with Europe as well. It's quite possible that he's not uh, regretful that ISIS people have been released. I also want to mention another uh, terrorist group, at least as far as Israel and Arab uh, countries are concerned, which is Hezbollah. The reason that President Rouhani, that you played his clip before, wants the Syrian army to stay in control is they want a free passage of, we of Iranian weaponry, uh, which their Syrian allies will allow, into Hezbollah hands in Lebanon, and this may draw in Israel and almost force Israel's hand into doing uh, strikes on missile, on uh, arms convoys and so on, which the Kurds were preventing uh, going through northeast Syria before. Yeah, so a, a wide-ranging uh, ripple effect here. The offensive now in its eighth day. Uh, Tom Gross, thank you so much for your analysis with us today.